hey you guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you all how i'm going to clean out my refrigerator it is long overdue i haven't cleaned my refrigerator out since 2018 and i know it kind of sounds long since we entered 2019 but during the holidays i will get everything cleaned up nice and neat for the holidays and then after the holidays i kind of neglect it and this is one of many of my new year's resolutions is to be clutter and organize free <laughs> so i figured today let me just go ahead and start it off and clean out my refrigerator because during the holidays it's just a lot of toss and go and go on to the next thing it's chaos for me during the holiday season so it's time for me to clean out my refrigerator, toss off some old things, some expired things. However, I do want to say this is not going to be no type of Pinterest worthy type of ordeal. Um, it's just going to be me cleaning out my refrigerator. So if you enjoy these type of videos, please be sure to give it a great big thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. Also, if this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Welcome to the world of Raising Halo where there's everything mom life mom a lifestyle as me cleaning out my refrigerator i hope you enjoy this video as well as countless others that i have on my youtube platform enough entertaining enough to where you want to click that subscribe button and join my youtube family halo which is my little one and myself would truly appreciate it so if you enjoy these type of motivational cleaning routine videos go ahead and give me a, a like once again um if these motivate you this is the reason why i do it is just to motivate others i love seeing cleaning motivation videos because it makes me realize hey you need to go clean that too so get on it girl i hope this will motivate you if you were slacking like myself after the holidays and you just didn't want to be bothered after nothing else being broke it's like hey it's enough so to kick me from staying in the streets, I said, what better way to get my new year resolution kicking off the right way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, so here we go, you guys. I am a little bit embarrassed to share this with you. However, this is real life. And like I said, if you enjoy the realness, then here it goes. So as you can see, everything is just tossed in from myself to everybody, even to Halo, okay, to the little ones, littlest one in the house, we just toss and go. However, it doesn't look that bad, but it does look bad to me. Um, and I do have a lot of food particles um, throughout the refrigerator, and as you guys can see, the bottom up, up there, it looks gross and nasty where food and fell, things done spilled. So it is just time for me to get in here and give it a good clean, a good scrub. Um, wipe down all that good stuff kind of refreshing my refrigerator so it is not smelling really bad so let's get on into it So I like to go in and start from the door and remove all the food from there. I'm going to be tossing out some things that's been there for a while. And I'm going to show you this nasty mess. See? Yes, gross. So embarrassed. Don't judge me, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to go through it and remove all the food. I'm, I'm going to set it on my counter. And then I'm going to clean each and every single part of the refrigerator door. So I'm going to fill up my sink with some hot water and pull in this pine So I love the scent of this. It's a Hispanic brand, but it smells so good. It's like a deodorizer. I'm going to pour this in the water and I'm also going to be using some Clorox. When I get down deep and dirty, I have to have pine saw and bleach, killing germs. I'm, I go back to old school. 
even though I love Mrs. Myers, but I need that old school stuff, y'all. So <laughs> that's what I use, and that's what I will continue to use. Like I said, I do love Mrs. Myers. You guys know I do purchase it. I also have an affiliated link down in the description box. But when it comes to deep cleaning, and I gotta get in there and get the scrubbing, and I'm just going back to the old faithful. Um, I have this saying: um, sometimes the things that have been around for years like Clorox and Plinesol, it's just something about it. So I just know it's gonna get my house clean and I love the way it smells. Furthermore, even though I, like I said, I love Mrs. Myers, but ain't nothing like some good old Plinesol and Clorox to me when it comes to deep cleaning. So let's get to cleaning these drawers. So here I like to just make sure I give it some TLC, tender love and care. Try to get every nook and cranny, um, a little bit soak it one side in the water, kind of loosen up the food particles. And like I just said before, give it a good scrub, a good cleaning that it hasn't had. Get all of those hard food stains in there off. Um, this can be a tedious job, but however it's rewarding at the end but somebody has to do it and I'm the only one that's gonna do it. So let's get it done. And here I'm sharing you guys the Clorox I'm using is the multi-surface. This one here is not my favorite. I will prefer just plain old Clorox or the lemon scent. I just picked it up because I wanna try it. I love to try new products and see how well they work. This right, that product, Clorox product is good for, for me in my opinion, um, the kitchen area however I do not like it in the bathroom mm -mm. I don't want to be smelling coconut and stuff in my bathroom I want to smell some pie salt or something um, so yes I leave that strictly for like the kitchen area Once I get the refrigerator completely done and cleaned how I want to, I will go in with a paper towel and just kind of wipe it all down from the wetness, the moistness. So make sure I'm not leaving any bleach where I'm going to put my food on top of it or what have you. Even though it doesn't matter to me as long as it's killed the bacteria, I'm not worried about bleach being around my food. I ain't eating it. I'm cleaning it off. So for me, that's not a big problem. But like I said, when I am disinfecting, I definitely need that bleach and pine salt. So and this is how it looked when I got all done cleaning the door. It, it looked, like I said, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it once you get your refrigerator all clean and it's smelling good. So now we're gonna tackle the other part of my fridge. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. Um, top shelf is not that bad. As you guys can see, I got stuff that 
food particles, stuff that done spilled. All in here that I gotta get cleaned out. Like, this is really disgusting. And at the bottom. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, real life. And if you look way back there, y'all can see that, yes. So I gotta get back there and clean all of this mess out, scrub it really good pop the tray the glass up out of these parts here and on each one and clean it because you guys can see it's sticking there so I'm gonna get all of that cleaned out and then I'll show you guys how it looks once I'm done okay y'all so I'm going to pop the trays out and it's really simple they just on like a little hook here take them out this one has the glass already in it, so I just take it out and clean it. So in a little bit here, I am going to take the little brush and go against the glass and get deep down in the cracks because once again, where things done, food done spilled, juice done spilled, um, it gets down in the cracks. So I kind of want to scrub that up and, and get that out of there. It's like a pet peeve of mine. I really do hate seeing it, you guys. And when it piles up, it just becomes so disgusting. And not only is it disgusting and the bacteria begins to flow in your refrigerator, but it smells. It smells really bad when all of those food particles get to adding up. It's just not a good smell at all. So I like to take my trays out and give them a good old scrub. So now that I am done with the larger part of the refrigerator, everything is all clean. However, I did put my eggs and my meat back in there because I did not want them to sit on the counter. I still currently have my heater on and it just was irritating me to know that my eggs and my meat was sitting on my counter. And while I'm up here trying to sort out food and, and clean my refrigerator, it was just like, Ebony, that's a no-no. You got to put that back in there. But I'm sharing with you guys how I cleaned the top of the glass. I removed the glass. I also removed each drawer and cleaned that and got the bottom of the refrigerator as well. Now, I always love to use Clorox wipes on my refrigerator, even if I'm not doing a deep clean just to wipe it down from germs and bacteria, bacteria from everybody touching it. I always love to use Clorox wipes. They just works best for me and I just feel more safe and secure with some good old Clorox wipes. So I'm just going to give it a, a normal wipe down. Uh, nothing too big. Now this is the part I hate the most, is getting down here and cleaning the vents, as you guys can see. I don't know what's down there, but it's just, it's nasty. It's disgusting. Oh my goodness, I hate cleaning it, but I had to clean it. I'm, I'm cringing now as I'm looking at it, but I hate cleaning it, but I um, just got some good old wipes and cleaned that out as well. Here is where I have the containers i know it looks like a bit of a mess and kind of a cluster you know what but um this is how i am able to sort out my food get everything situation like all of my my little condiments and one thing 
her um, Halo's juice is in another. Once again, like sauces, pickles, salad, dressing in that one. Here is where I put all of like our vegetables and stick it in this tray. I have like the fruit. I leave my fruit in these plastic containers. Um, I don't wash it. I need to find something because I find when I wash them and I put them in here, even if I dry it, the fruit goes bad. So I just leave it in the containers and then when I'm ready to use it, I cleanse it. That just works best for us. That's how it works here. And then the stuff that's like sitting out here will either go on the side of the door or in the drawer compartments of the refrigerator. Here I put in this little container, Halo's little cheese. I kind of want it like disorganized, even though I just might take the top off because she's just gonna throw this and toss it when she goes in and get her cheese. We eat a lot of cheese in this house, so I had like some shredded sharp cheese. Laughing Cow and a lot of um, sandwich cheese. Oh, here's another cheese stick. I need to take that out. If I can get it out of there. But a lot of um, sandwich cheese for sandwiches. Here is yogurt. Uh, Halo eats a lot of yogurt. And Jose, so this is like what I'm going to leave their stuff in. And then Halo's like little fruit pouches. Something that's I like these containers because it's easy to store her stuff in and she can know where everything's at and I have different varieties of it in here and she can choose from what she wants. So I'm going to place all of this stuff back in the refrigerator you guys and I'll show you all how it looks once I get done. So this is the complete and finished product of it all with the food back in every in order and just how I like it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video once again. Please, if you did enjoy this motivation cleaning video, please be sure to give us a great big thumbs up. I will truly appreciate it. It just lets me know that you guys are enjoying these motivational cleaning routine videos. I do it because I love to motivate others. It's always about sharing. Sharing is caring. So like I said, click that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.